Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stos. Have you ever received an email from a boss or coworker that might have been very professionally written but was filled with hostility? Or have you ever written one of those emails that was one of those that you typed up and put together and hit send and went, oh, shoot, I probably shouldn't have sent that. Well, we've been talking about communication. Last week we talked about communication in terms of verbal communication and how we come through that with our words and our tone and our body language. But so much of our world is moving to our technology and our email and text communication that we really have to stop and think about that etiquette or what's appropriate within our emails and our uh, text communication. So let's spend a little bit of time thinking about that message. First, we have to step back and think about who is the audience? Who are we sending this message to? We know usually that relationship that we have with those individuals. So when we think about the words and the message and the uh, little iconics that we can use with that message, we have to understand who will be reading this. You know, is this this, the senior leadership team? Is it the, uh, your friend, coworker sitting down the hall? Is it a client? Um, What is that relationship with those individuals? Because that's really about first you have to think about Who is it going to? And then how do I really write that? What is that message? You know, can I use some uh, more casual wording? Uh, Can I use some of the uh, exclamation points in a good way or a smiley face? What's going to be accepted by that? So really stepping back to think about that first and understanding who the audience is and what's appropriate for that audience. Sometimes we think about the tone and there really isn't a tone. We sometimes interpret a tone within our uh, email or our text communication, and that is sometimes interpreted by us. Most of the time, many times, it could be very misunderstood. We take that by some of the words that are used, maybe all caps, um, the words that might say should, or um, number of question marks, (laughs) or a number of something, so it seems explicit, you know, very big and, and broad, or maybe it's just some of those words that we look at and think, well, what do they really mean by that? The third thing is really thinking about our state of mind when we write that email. Sometimes we're busy and on the run and we just want to pound it out and get it done. And so we have a tendency to maybe be short and curt and to the point. Uh, Sometimes we might be in a very emotional state of mind. We just had a meeting with a client and it wasn't the best meeting or the best uh, way that we we thought it would go. Um, So maybe we need to um, stop and take a minute before we type that, but we type the email and then we send it off. Well, one of my clients, he does something really neat that, that when that's the what he's going through, he goes into his, his Word documents and types all of his emotions and feelings and what he's thinking about so he can get it out on paper, lets it sit, obviously doesn't put it in drafts because just in case you would hit send, right? Gives you some time to really look at that, come back later, come back a little bit later and go, okay, yes, I got it all out. I was pretty emotional. Now let me take these words, put it in an email in a nice succinct manner to appropriately send what I need to send to them. So that's just one of those pause moments that says, let me stop, get my emotions out because it is good to get it out and get your feelings out, but then really bring, come back later and decide what that content should be. So state of mind has a lot to do with it. Unfortunately, the other person on the receiving end doesn't always know where we're at in our day. If our day is rushed, our day is hurried, um, we've had a bad day. Um, Some of us, when that state of mind, uh, we have a tendency to want to send things um, the way we like them. And like meaning, you know, some of us who are relationship oriented may start it out with, how are you today? What's your day like? How was your weekend? A little bit of relational, then jump into the words. Some people may not do that back to us. And so then we start interpreting something around what they mean. So just just remember that, that there's really that tone piece um, and then that state of mind that we're in when we're writing them is very important. The other piece is length. You know, um, sometimes emails get really long. And, you know, it's really, sometimes they need to be long, depending on the content. So that's, you have to be the judge of that. Um, But might just understand sometimes, depending on what outcome you want uh, with that email, the length of the email. And is it better to, um, you know, kind of frame up some of the overviews at the very top of the email before you send the whole email. Um, Also, maybe putting in your subject line a little bit about FYI for your information only, or if you need a reply or response. Um, that would be appropriate as well. And finally, the last thing is thinking about when we have that email going back and forth and back and forth, and you're this is someone who's sitting right across to you <laughs> in another office, and everybody's there, but we are trying to get clarity, and it's 10 times, and you're still going back and forth. 
then that's the time to get up out of your seat and go have a conversation. Or if it's somebody not in your office setting, pick up the phone, um, give them a call. Maybe it was that email you received from a client that seemed a little hostile. Those would be the time that, you know, goes back to all that we've talked about. That connection and that relationship is so important in anything we do. And so we really have to take the time to build that connection. And that's a little bit hard to do on email. So our positive charge for this week is first to step back and when you're sending your email communication, first just evaluate who you're sending it to and think about that messaging and maybe that state of mind and, and just step back for a bit and, and pause before you hit send. And secondly, think about when you receive an email um, or text communication, some type of uh, written communication to you, stop and if you all of a sudden sense that you're not um, interpreting it right, just pick up the phone and give them a call or just ask for further interpretation. So evaluate how you deal with those when they come your way. So communication continues to be important to us every day and thinking about ourselves and the times that maybe we uh, didn't pause, uh, that we ask you to think about that this week, to pause before you hit send. Just don't hit send unless you're sure it's exactly what you want it to be. Thank you for joining us and remember to get your mind on.